Okay, let us try to find answers to this question. Patients on antitypical drug isoniazide suffer from pyridoxine deficiency. So this may be two more questions in a final exam. So let's see, let us see uh, the answers to these questions and you can just pause videos and uh, just uh, note down the answers. See, patients on antitypical drug suffer from pyridoxine deficiency. This antitypical drug uh, isoniazide can form complex hydrogen along with pyridoxal phosphate. PLP is for pyridoxal phosphate. So they can form a complex hydrogen uh, that is biologically inactive and it is excre excreted in the urine, rapidly excreted in the urine. So the this PLP is lost in the urine, so the patient will suffer from deficiency. Moreover, uh, this uh, isoniazide also inhibits paradoxal phosphokinase enzyme, uh, which phosphorylates paradoxal to paradoxal phosphate. So this kinase enzyme, this kinase enzyme will be inhibited. This kinase enzyme will be inhibited by uh, this isoniazide, and therefore the paradoxal uh, cannot be converted to paradoxal phosphate or paradoxal phosphate. Okay, so there will be deficiency so one is action is one action is it inhibits the enzyme and other is it forms a complex that is called hydrogen which is excreted in the urine so you can just post the video and note down this and uh, the deficiency uh, the pyridoxine deficiency induced by the use of isoniazide this is isoniazide leads to reduced production of GABA GABA is a neurotransmitter and therefore can manifest as seizures uh, especially in acute setting of toxicity. Okay. Thank you.